I'm Josh with Predator Hunters USA, and we tell predators to kick rocks. It means get the hell out of here. Leave our children alone. Do we have a date of birth on the predator for tonight? So the predator we're going to meet tonight is a 34-year-old male coming to meet with a 15-year-old child. So he thinks. He wants to come at 8 o'clock tonight to have sex with her. We have a team of decoys who set up an online account. He asked the decoy, can we try too? Yes or no? This predator is a serial offender. It pisses me off. Now I'm ready to expose this guy. I'm calm right now. And I get eyes on him, um, you know, is when my adrenaline's gonna start going. We started Predator Hunters USA about a year ago. We've exposed over 70 predators. We do live stream these exposures so neighbors, friends, relatives, co workers know that this guy is a predator. We'll be meeting at a public gas station around 8 p.m. tonight. I'm calling my wife and my children, I tell them I love them before I go on the exposure. It is dangerous and you never know, you might not come home. I love you guys, I'll talk to you later. I have a wife, an eight-year-old son, a two-year-old son, and also a one-week-year-old son. My wife is really concerned about safety. I've been threatened before, and I'll be threatened again, I'm sure, but the predator's threats and, and my wife's concerns are not gonna stop me. I would rather die than see another kid be molested. Nine minutes away, I'm ready to get him. We've been waiting for about an hour and a half for the predator to arrive. He is now switching the location, so we are going to be heading to a new location. It's not uh, uncommon, these predators will change the location. He wants to be in control. Our decoy just sent us the call recorded between um, the two of them. Once you get the you need to send me a picture so we know you're actually there. We're gonna head to the new location and we'll uh, see what happens when we get there. We have been driving for about three and a half hours now. This is gonna be the meeting spot right here. We got eyes on him. I am going to go approach him now. Hey, you from around here? It's Josh's security guy. Uh, my name is Josh. I'm with Predator Hunters USA. Let me explain something to you. I'm not law enforcement. You're free to go at any time. So let's be honest here. Who are you here to meet? A girl. A girl. And how old is that girl? I'm not sure. I'm sorry. You're sorry you got caught. She said her age, 15. You said, I'm okay with the age. Then you also said to her she could get pregnant if you So you're still currently on probation? No. What are your probation guidelines? I'm not supposed to be around here. Unless it's approved. No, I can be honest. Uh, if uh, my mom is uh, around. So your mom knows? Let's give good old mom a call here. My name is Josh. I'm with Predator Hunters USA. I am here with your son. He has come here to meet with a 15-year-old child. He told me that he is allowed to be on these apps as long as you know about it. And he told me that you knew about this. No. Here's a card. There's a list of resources. What I would suggest you do, try to get some help. To get the hell out of here. I don't want to see your face ever again. There goes the suspect's vehicle. What happened? Uh, so we uh, walked up to At first he claimed he didn't know her age. I then confronted him with the evidence and then he admitted, yes, I knew she was 15. He then admitted he came here for sex. He was an older male, maybe 34 years of age, had dark hair, he was chewing some tobacco, glasses. If I see this guy walking down the street, he wouldn't strike me as a predator. He just looks like a normal guy that'd work a regular office job. I told him, kick rocks and get the hell out of here and leave our children alone. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Josh, welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. What's your motive for doing What, What got you started doing this? Um, so the reason how I started was I seen another team that was doing it and I was, you know, I was a victim as a child. Mm -hmm. So seeing that it hit close to home and I wanted to do something to make a difference in Minnesota. I'm very sorry that happened to you, by the way. Thank you. And when you go out and do this, does that give you some sense of justice, some sense of balancing the scales? It does, you know, knowing that it's me there and not another child. 